today is December 2nd, uh, 2019, and I'm here to do our daily <clears throat> check-in, so let's begin. Okay, so I'll be working with the regular uh, right away tarot deck today. Gisela Norman to clarify. Okay, so bottom of the deck, we have here the Hermit, and clarifying that is the Coffin. I feel like, okay, this is um, a period of reflection, okay? This is a time of going within. I do see that there is like a transformation that is taking place. So there was an ending towards something, you know, and something new is about to happen. And I feel that, you know, whether it's a divine masculine or feminine, um, I feel like they are just working on their self at this time. So uh, let's tap into this reading and see what it's all about. Okay, first we have here the Fool, next we have Five of Wands, then we have Justice, and then we have the Emperor. Okay, so what I'm getting here is that there is a new beginning, okay? And it has something to do with some conflict that has happened in the past. And I feel like justice is being served. And, um, and this time, you know, like I feel like there is uh, going to be like um, something that, that's solid this time, okay? Like with this justice, I feel like, you know, um, you know, things are getting taken care of, like, um, business is going to be handled at this time. So, let's uh, clarify here. Okay. So, with this fool, we have here the tower, okay? I feel like, with this new beginning, okay, um, I feel like, you know, um, 
both parties are in observation mode, okay? They, they are looking out, you know, for what the future really holds for them. And I see that uh, the Six of Swords wants to come out. And so that pretty much means like, you know, leaving stuff that was kind of rocky in the past and moving forward, you know, to something that is more calmer and more smoother. Um, so it's like a transitional period. Um, again, you know, that kind of reiterates, you know, this hermit, you know, by this person going within. They are actually transforming at this time. So that's ultimately pretty good. Next, we have here the Five of Wands. Okay, and clarifying that is the messenger. So whatever conflict that has happened in the past, I feel like, you know, there is going to be communication, okay? I feel like, you know, people want to get out of this um, energy, you know, where, you know, there was like a lot of fighting or disagreements or, or that sort of a thing. And um, this message, okay, will relay the fact that this person, okay, wants to make amends and um and they do want to communicate you know to their counterpart that they they want to you know fix things you know and make things right you know because that is what they they want that is what they wish for at this time why because we have here justice okay and with this justice card we have here the cross so in order to uh, provide this balance, okay, like um, it is a burden, okay, it is kind of hard, it is difficult, they know that there was some conflict, um, but I see that this person wants to come back and make things right, and also I see here the Six of Wands, so um, they want to come out victorious, you know, they want to um, really fix things. That's what I see. Like this person is going really deep within. They have changed. I do see their transformation. They are working on their self and they do want this new beginning, you know, and they're just trying to figure out like what is the proper approach in moving forward because they know that this conflict, you know, was pretty bad, you know, but I do see that they really desire to have that heart-to-heart -heart, uh, communication with you and they want to express, okay, um, you know, you know, that they're sorry for whatever has happened and they want to make things right. Um, and they want to tell you, okay, how they feel and, um, you know, in providing this balance, okay, they are really burdened at this time. You know, it, it is really difficult for them. Now, with this emperor, okay, we have here the clover. So, with justice, I feel like the emperor energy is coming out. So, again, I feel like this is a divine masculine that wants to come through. They do want to set the record straight, you know, and, and by becoming the, the emperor, you know, they, they want to bring, you know, something good, you know, back into, you know, um, you know, your relationship, you know, with, with your counterpart. And, um, here I see the Six of Pentacles. So wherever that there was an imbalance, I feel like they're finally, you know, wanting to move forward to provide that balance to you. So this is really good, guys. I, I really like this energy. Oh gosh, yes. <laughs> okay, here we have the sun. Then we have ace of swords. And then we have the four of wands. I feel like with this new beginning, okay, they, they do see the light, okay? Um, I feel like, you know, this is also like healing energy also by going within, you know, they know it is time to, to step it up and to, uh, move forward and, um, they're going to express their truth or clarity to the situation. So whatever conflicts that you had in the past, they are ready to, you know, provide justice to the situation. And, um, you know, this is the start of a new, like communication, like they're going to 
clear the air with everything. And they're going to express, you know, with their words, um, you know, what it is that, you know, that they want. And what they want is they, they want to reconcile. They want to, you know, let you know that you are their wish fulfillment, you know, and it is really hard for them, you know, to bring that balance. And so I feel like the divine masculines are really, you know, stepping it up, you know, to provide that to their uh, divine feminine. And with this four of wands, okay, I feel like the divine masculines are ready, you know, to offer, you know, this stability, you know, within the home or like a commitment or a relationship, you know, they definitely want to bring balance to the situation. They want to, you know, bring peace within, you know, like their home life or, you know, or their partnership. So this is so beautiful. Okay. So, with the sun, we have here the polar bear. So again, whatever that was burdening them, whatever that was difficult, or they were like multitasking or, or doing so much at one time, okay, your divine other um, sees the light to the situation. They have gained clarity, you know, to whatever that burden was. And um, I see that they are gaining their strength and their power, you know, to provide at this time. Like, they are, like, dropping those burdens down so that they can have that new beginning, you know, in the physical. So, um, you know, again, this is the ending to all those burdens, and they do see that light, and they definitely want to, you know, make things right. With uh, the Ace of Swords, we have here the man. Again, this is the divine masculine that wants to come in, you know, with this clarity moment, with this communication, they are also going to express how they feel. Like this is a start to their like emotional beginning with you. You know, they know that there was conflict in the past and they they do want to give that message to you that, you know, you are what they want. And, um, you know, they, they want to set the record straight this time. So that is so good. And uh, with the Four of Wands, we have here the fox. So here I feel like, you know, someone was really on guard, you know, in having like this um, coming together. You know, there was some deception in the past, you know, there was like some secrecy, you know, and things of that nature. But I feel like that's all coming away and justice, you know, is being served, you know, and all the burdens, okay, are coming down. And I feel like, you know, your divine masculine wants to come in and bring like nothing but abundance, you know, and good fortune, you know, and all things that are good. And, and he is finally working on that. So... That is so beautiful. Okay. Next we have here the Hierophant. And then we have here the Queen of Swords. So what I'm getting here is that with this new start, okay, in, in like resolving these conflicts and bringing justice to the situation, the Divine Masculines you know, has like this, this light, okay, to the situation, they finally want to come in and offer this commitment to you guys, you know, and I feel like, you know, the divine feminines, they, they might be a little bit on guard, and I feel like, you know, is, is this for real? Like, um, are you speaking the truth to me? You know, because there was deception in the past. How am I going to believe you? You know, and so I feel like the divine feminines, you know, they are a little bit on guard and they're not taking anything, you know, um, you know, very, really lightly. So, yes. So with this Hierophant, we have here the magnifying glass. So I just feel 
that the divine masculines are really looking closely at this commitment, okay? They they are really like going deep within. They have gone hermit mode, okay? They they're they're looking, you know, at themselves, you know, and looking at the situation as a whole because I truly feel that they are transforming, okay? Whatever that the, your divine masculine has done in the past, I feel like they are getting out of that. They have learned, they have grown, you know, and they are slowly awakening. And I feel like, you know, with that transition and for them working on themselves, I feel like they know, okay, that this involves a commitment okay this they have to take it up to the next level they have to provide justice to the situation and um and i see that here with the queen of swords we have here the tree so what i'm getting here is that the divine feminines they expect you know stability they expect you know, like something that's going to last, you know, they are tired of this whole in and out, you know, going back and forth, you know, energy with their divine masculines, because before, you know, where there was a coming together, you know, there was deception, there was some sneaky behaviors, and, you know, that's why I feel like the divine feminines, they are on guard, they're, they're not sure if their divine masculine is coming correct at this time. But I do see that because, um, you know, with with the, the Queen of Swords also, I feel like there is some confusion, you know, in this emotional new beginning that, you know, divine masculines um, are wanting to offer. But um, truthfully, you know, what I see here on the divine masculine's energy, they sincerely want to make amends with you, okay? They are just trying to find a way to do it because when it comes to this balance, they are burdened because they know they've done so much wrong, you know, to you in the past. And so it is a little bit difficult for them, you know, to provide, you know, that equal um, <clears throat> balance, you know, there. But I feel like with the emperor energy coming in, they are finally coming in to make things right, all right? Okay. Hmm. And finally, what we have here is the Nine of Pentacles, okay? So this is the match to this coffin where it is also the Nine of Pentacles. And again, I feel like, you know, with this Nine of Pentacles energy, I feel like, you know, both parties are really, you know, really working on themselves. And this, you know, kind of is like an extension from yesterday's reading, you know, where the divine feminines are in their power and they're working on themselves. But guess what? The divine masculine's energy is coming in today and they too are working on themselves. So I see like, you know, like the two energies, you know, the divine feminines are working on their power, working on themselves. Divine masculines are also working on themselves, but they're working so that they can transform to come correct. And so this, this energy is really beautiful today. Oh gosh. And with this nine of pentacles, we have here the tulips. Okay. I see an apology coming through. I feel like once people are in their independence and they're working on themselves and they materially, they have their stuff together, okay, they finally um, have the drive to make that next step, to, to move forward, to give like, you know, their apology, you know, and their sincerity to the queen. Because again, I see here the queen of swords, you know, that wants to come out with the tulips. And guess what? We have the Queen of Swords here. And so I feel like the, the Queens, you know, they're not going to take any shit from their Divine Masculines, okay? They expect the truth. They want honesty, clarity, you know. They, they don't want fluff, okay? They want the real thing. And all they want is communication. And guess what? Divine Masculines are coming in with their truth, their clarity, their honesty. And I see that because it, it is paired here with the man. And with this man, he is coming in with the start of his like new emotional beginning with you. So ultimately, guys, this 
this is pretty good. Like, I feel like from yesterday's reading with the Divine Feminines and today's reading with the Divine Masculines, I feel like both of you guys are working, you know, separately. But I see, like, the bigger picture here that both of you guys are working, you know, in those aspects so that you guys can come together and I see that the Divine Masculines are finally like working on themselves you know so that they can bring justice you know to your partnership you know and I see that because they are coming in with the tulips here offering their apology so that is so beautiful guys all right so what is the angel guidance messages for today? have here choose a new direction okay divine feminines had this card yesterday okay and so for the divine masculines they are choosing a new direction okay and that direction is towards their divine feminines they are finally moving away from their karmic situations so that they can put an end to that cycle and have this new beginning because we have here the fool that wants to come out, okay? Divine masculines do want to have like this new beginning. And right now they are being watchful, okay? They're trying to um, move away from, you know, whatever situations that happened in the past so that they can move forward and have peace. You know, there was conflict, you know, and they are choosing a new direction. They want to get out of that energy, guys. Why? Because they want to send a message, okay? They want to communicate with you and let you know that they that you are their wish fulfillment. And guess what? They want to bring justice to, to the situation because they are really burdened at this time. It is really weighing really heavy on their minds and in their hearts. And guess what? They are going to come in as the emperor, okay? And provide like this new beginning, like this this like feeling of of goodness you know and that's what that's what the divine feminines you know they deserve you know this new beginning you know the divine masculines do see the light to the situation they are coming in with their strength they're finally going to put their burdens down and guess what they are going to communicate with you they are going to express how they feel about you and about the situations that happened in the past because why because of this four of wands there was some sneaky deception in regards to like you know, like a coming together with you guys, but you know what? They're going to put an end to that. And what they're going to do, they're going to look at the situation here and provide a commitment with you. They are finally going really deep within, okay, and looking at the situation between you two. And with this Queen of Swords, okay, they know that the Divine Feminines aren't going to take anything, you know, less than what they deserve. You know, this time it is going to be solid. It is going to be grounded, okay, and it is going to last for a long time, you know. And with their independence, okay, they finally want to come in, you know, with their apologies, okay. This is what I feel, okay, energetically, when twins separate, okay, that is the time for reflection, that is the time for growth, okay, you guys need to have that separation period, okay, to remove karma uh, cycles or any, any energies that wasn't serving, so that whenever, you know, you do work on yourself, guess what, you guys will come back together, so... Choose a new direction. 
and here we have get more information and I see that I feel like the divine masculines are going hermit mode okay they are going within they are going through a transformation okay that is why they are like kind of like to themselves at this time you know and um and in regards to like this commitment, they are really looking at it deeply. They are not going to rush in and do this hastily because there was like a lot of in and out, you know, back and forth, you know, like action and that's not what they want you know for this commitment for this time because they know that their divine feminines aren't going to take take it anymore they're really taking their time okay to make things right this time so overall the guidance is pretty good today all right so what's the love message you know for today Here we have children, okay? Your love life is being affected by children. I just feel like this is more to just like, you know, coming together. I feel like, you know, this is involving, you know, those twins, you know, who have children in their life. And um, that that is actually, you know, kind of like an obstacle you know, at this time. So aside from coming together, you know, I feel like, you know, children here are involved. And, um, and again, if you don't have children, okay, I feel like, you know, there is some, something youthful, like a, a younger energy that is coming in that is affecting, you know, your, uh, divine other from coming, uh, into your life. So, um, I definitely do feel that at this time. Yes, healing family issues, okay? Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. I feel like, you know, with this, uh, you know, um, message that's coming out today, you know, your divine other is going through, like, something to do with the family, okay? And I feel like they have to heal their family issues, you know, with their karmics and stuff um, in order for them to fully come, you know, into full union, you know, with their divine other. So, um, I definitely do feel that. So once they work on themselves and, you know, and, and I think that, you know, with this commitment, you know, they really have to look at the situation really closely because, you know, it's not about like coming into union with their divine other. I do see that that is what they so desire, but I feel like there are some obstacles here in the way and it has something to do with children and healing family issues. So I feel like, you know, this is karmic, but honestly, they are transforming, okay? They are working on themselves. They are going within, you know, they know what, what it's going to take, you know, to get out of the situation because they are going to choose a new direction, okay? So, I really hope you liked today's message. Um, thank you again for all your likes, your comments, your shares, and your subscriptions. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. Um, I provide daily guidance messages for the collective, you know, to tap into the energies to see like where, you know, uh, the twins are at at this current time. And um, if you like to book a private reading, you can visit me on my website. It is www.scorpiomoonintuition.com. And thank you again, you know, for, for all of your comments you know, all your likes, you know, I, I pretty, you know, I really appreciate, you know, um, 
like all the love and and you guys sharing your personal stories you know um you know we aren't in this alone okay we're here together so you know that's what i'm here for is to help you know provide guidance you know for the collective you know so that you know we all can you know come together with our counterparts all right so i hope you enjoy this message and i'll see you again tomorrow thanks for watching Bye bye